now let me discuss about the local anesthetics right the pharmacology of local anesthetics now if you take these particular drugs remember these drugs they act by blocking the conduction of nerve impulse along the axon right so what do they do remember these drugs they act by blocking the conduction of right these drugs act by blocking the conduction of nerve impulse right conduction of nerve impulse along the axon all right now if you if you take a nerve or a neuron now this is the structure of a neuron these are the dendrites and this is the cell body or the soma and this is the axon surrounding the axon we have the myelin sheath right surrounding the axon we have the myelin sheath and these are the nerve terminals right these are the nerve terminals now now what these local anesthetics will do is remember local anesthetics they block the conduction of the nerve impulse by inhibiting or by inhibiting the nerve impulse along the axon so along the axon the conduction of the nerve impulse will not occur and thereby the effect of the local anesthesia will be there so by inhibiting this particular conduction at the level of the axon the neuronal transmission does not occur right the transmission of the nerve impulse will not occur all right next next point if you see here you take the neurons like we have the small diameter neurons and we have a uh, large diameter neurons so if you take the small diameter and myelinated fibers they are blocked first right if you see small diameter and as well as myelinated fibers right these are blocked first so the small diameter and myelinated fibers they are blocked first whereas you take unmyelinated fibers right unmyelinated fibers and as well as the thick diameter fibers right thick diameter fibers they are blocked later right they are blocked later okay so small diameter and myelinated fibers they are blocked first whereas unmyelinated and as well as thick fibers they are blocked later so if you take the order of blockade right if you take the order of blockade now you see this order of blockade the order of blockade will be in this way this will be an important multiple choice question now we have depending upon the diameter of the fibers we have a fibers b fibers and c fibers so if you take the order of blockade first the b fibers are blocked because they are small small diameter fibers and they are myelinated fibers and followed by that the c fibers are blocked and then followed by that a delta fibers are blocked so if you take the order of blockade so initially the b fibers are blocked followed by that c fibers and then a delta fibers are blocked and then following the blockade of the a delta fibers a alpha a beta and then a gamma fibers are being blocked so this is the order of blockade of these particular fibers all right so what you have to remember is the small diameter fibers and myelinated fibers they are blocked first and followed by that unmyelinated and as well as the thick diameter fibers are being blocked next next following that coming to the fibers of autonomic fibers sensory fibers and motor fibers if you take this remember 
which fibers are blocked first among autonomic sensory and as well as motor so remember autonomic fibers right autonomic fibers they are being blocked first then followed by that sensory fibers are blocked right and followed by that remember last the motor fibers are being blocked now again within the sensory fibers the cold temperature sensation is lost first right so here the cold temperature sensation this is lost first followed by the loss of the cold temperature sensation then the heat sensation then followed by that of the pain sensation and followed by that the proprioception and followed by that the proprioception so these are the sensory sensations which are being lost so remember autonomic fibers are blocked first followed by sensory fibers and followed by that the motor fibers now if you take in the sensory fibers the cold sensation is lost first followed by that heat sensation followed by that pain sensation and followed by that the proprioception is lost now so these are the order of the frequency i mean in this order the sensations are being lost but if you take the recovery right if you take the recovery remember recovery will occur in the reverse order right recovery will occur in the reverse order all right next now this is how the fibers are being blocked now we will see the classification of the local anesthetics this particular local anesthetics remember they are classified mainly into two types right so this local anesthetics we have amides and then esters right amides and as well as esters okay now let me tell you what are the amides and then let me tell you what are the ester types